Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Dungeons and Events with Dragons. Today we are starting a new campaign. Uh, which is going to be the Wildsworth campaign, season 2, episode 1. Mostly that's when you start, right? Anyways, something like that. <laughs> something like that. Uh, I'm going to introduce our players, but not the characters yet. So, uh... <clears throat> thank you, thank you, Hope. I have to cut my hair because my girlfriend was getting ang uh, angry. <laughs> I... Touché. Oh, it looks nice. <laughs> yep. Uh, I prefer my, my, my guts alive. Anyways, uh, let me open my Discord so I can check who we have. Uh, first of all, we have... Let's talk about the returning players uh, we have back uh, writing real slow hello yes it's me I'm back <laughs> uh, we have uh, it's, it's fine if you call it's fine if you call me Jess on here yeah no it, it, I'm trying it, it, well, yeah Jess is back uh, we have uh, Dr. Kirkland Back as well. Hello there. Uh, we have uh, Ayla back. Hello. Uh, Chromatic Lagoon. Hello. And uh, Burn Lucray. Hello. Uh, and then we also have two new players. Uh, we have uh, My Lady Needs. <laughs> Hi. And, uh, oh god, your name, <laughs> <laughs> Lester's Lizard, yay, <laughs> we mostly say hi, <laughs> hi, <laughs> hi, <laughs> oh, you've already fucked up, can't be here anymore, yep, <laughs> never mind, I appreciate that kind of talk I'll... around here, <laughs> whoa, I'm sorry, I thought this stream was for, for certain audiences, so. Yeah. Anyways, we are back in the world of Wildfront. Uh, Talera, uh, where several years ago, a certain evil lich was trying to destroy the world by dropping a moon on it. Uh, during that time, <clears throat> the city, the world got damaged. Uh, the lands were taken over by him and overrun by undead luckily thanks to the heroics of the previous campaign or the previous hero group we managed you guys managed to defeat him or they managed to defeat him uh, it's now 15 years later uh, the world is slowly recovering from the damage it's done uh, the moon is still in a low orbit but uh, due to magics, uh, she is still up there. She is still floating. Uh, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. While the world was re restoring, uh, the lands that were once taken over by Vecna slowly have been getting colonized again. People start living again. The the, the grounds are very fertile, uh, many undead bones and other things make good fertilization. Uh, but also the runes that are left by, by Vecna's armies were also rich with treasure. And which country does not want riches, correct? So many people traveled southwards to find these treasures to find the places where they could start anew after they were, have fled the threat before uh, among these among these settlements we find ourselves in Starfall Grove uh, the town is relatively fair and well um, old runes around it, uh, of settlements, orders and temples which were being exploited by the 
Well, the guilds, the, the Explorers League. Uh, like to. F they managed to find many treasures there. Which, of course, helped Starfall Grove to grow to the size it's now. It's about uh, 800 people. Maybe a little bit bigger. Uh, yeah. And they're mostly currently looking for a vault that was lost many centuries ago. Well, in the time that Vecna was uh, encroached near. From a family where there's no living survivors. But that's all happening. Uh, but right now the town is preparing for a festival. Uh, <clears throat> a festival to celebrate the... The feeding of the Lich Vecna. People are uh, enjoying the time. They are having their, they are dr having drinks and uh, the partying. Children are dressing up as the old heroes that were uh, were there. Uh, as Shannon Aaron for the girls. Uh, some as some go as Queen Garabeska. Uh, we were also at the point where Vecna was beaten. Uh, the boys mostly going as Simonius, Kierkegaard, Devin, uh, Merm, Merm, or Tordal. Uh, at the end I of the. Got that, I wonder how they got that fire head look for uh, Mara. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, they are costumes. Uh, we're all got. Famous tale. <laughs> well, we didn't laugh. Well, we did save the world. <laughs> yeah, and Thordal was also dead and or fighting against us. <laughs> I don't know if he was there, so. I think he was. <laughs> he left he was around. behind to he, he, he was there in the final battle, wasn't he? No, he, was around. Around. he was around somewhere. <laughs> he, he was in the uh, camp recovering from. Us oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, to, be fair, he, to be fair, he probably embellished the story a bit. I mean, he, I mean, the entire reason Marum found you guys was because Tordal was like, "Yeah, no, there, there were my apprentices." <laughs> Simonius was my squire, not the other way around. <laughs> Anyways, uh, <clears throat> at the end of the festival, uh, fireworks will be launched uh, just before. Just after they, the kids go storm a giant pinata of Vecna with sticks and weapons to get the candies out of them. Uh, That's the greatest thing in the world. It's not gruesome at all. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, you don't know the Burning Man uh, thing. It's also very. So yeah. Uh, anyways. There's a big difference between Burning Man and the Pinata. <laughs> yeah, no, but... <laughs> there, there's no, are you, sure you're, not are you sure you're not thinking of a Wicker Man? Yeah, I well... Hate anyways... Uh, during this festival, we see two people walking through the... to the, the, the busyness of the... Uh, of the town. Uh, as people are drinking and eating, and uh, we see two two inv individuals uh, standing for one of the uh, food stalls. Uh, the food stalls in in question is currently selling uh, isovecna, which are basically meatballs packed into a white <laughs> sort of uh, vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually quite it's actually quite tasty. Uh right in front of that there's an uh <clears throat> well describe your character uh uh Ayla. Um so Storm of Claws is a uh, tabaxi. Um has uh, black fur and amber eyes and she's dressed in um simple black traveler's clothes um 
with a cloak kind of round her shoulders and she has a, a spear um, on her back that's um, quite fearsome and, and sort of tribal looking um, with a dark wood um, shaft and apart from the spear um, her attire is um, you know fairly unremarkable except for the fact that she isn't wearing any shoes um, so she ha just has her, her paws uh, visible on the ground and she's uh, looking at all the food around her with um, <laughs> uh, wide eyes and uh, she's uh, licking her lips yep. <laughs> uh, next to her there's, there's somebody else standing and, and Tiefling explain her character uh, Mrs. Neitz so Art is a albino Tiefling um, she has horns on either side of the head but one's rotating backwards the other is rotating forwards uh, very very wonky um she has like round glasses um she wears robes of green and purple and she's very shy seeming mm -hmm. <clears throat> as you guys are standing there uh there's also an elf walking around, wondered by all these stuff happening around it, around them. Uh, and as he bumps into Storm, uh, she recognizes this figure. And it's oh. Ives. Eve. Eve. Well, close enough. Yes. <laughs> or, or, as, no or as you know, uh, explain your character. Uh, yeah, Eve is uh, another star elf. Um, but on him here, he looks a little off. Doesn't seem to fit. Uh, and is has a bit of a, an innocent wonder, like look of like just everything is interesting mm -hmm. in this world. So he bumps into Storm. Says, Hi, mate. Look where you're going. Oh. Hi, you I stole like my you. chicken. Yeah, you're the, you're the chicken guy. <laughs> you stole my chicken. No, no. Because I, I won the fight, didn't I? God damn it. Oh, it's that. It was a nice chicken. Yeah, I know. That's why I ordered it. Yeah, you got good taste. God damn it. Oh. Well, anyway. fight this girl. She's gonna kick my ass. <laughs> well, I mean... Is it... I'm sorry, you say he has good taste, but he... did he get a taste of it at all before he stole his chicken? <laughs> well, just... well, he might have had one bite, but... <laughs> yeah. No, um... Well, I mean... What are you doing here? Oh, you know, um... Stealing chicken I'm... again? Uh, I wouldn't steal food, mate. I'm, uh... I'm you, here you just to... <laughs> she, she, she smiles at him. It's like, oh, I'm just here checking out the festivities, you know? Yeah, but anyway, do you, uh... Yeah, to make up for it, um, why don't I, uh... Buy you something from this stall here? Does anything take your fancy? Fair enough. <laughs> I, uh, Rem, what is in this stall? Uh, as I said, the, this stall uh, in particular was selling uh, Ice of Vecna, which are uh, meatballs covered in into uh, a white vegetable. Uh, okay. I, I was trying that, to find. That sounds a lot more appealing than Eye of Vecna <laughs> that I originally heard. <laughs> I mean, they named it like that and they made it like this to look like an Eye of Vecna, but it's definitely not an Eye of Vecna. <laughs> but yeah. Sure. I'll, I'll take one of those, and we'll call it even. Thank you. Great. Um, so yeah, Stor uh, Storm turns to the um, the vendor and says, Oh, I'll, I'll have uh, three of these, mate. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> ah, yes, uh, that's going to be three copper then. And he gives you uh, three of these meatballs. Oh. All right. Sounds. Uh, thank you for the follow. 
uh, <clears throat> but uh, they, they give you the, the, the three uh, eyes effect now which are actually stepped onto a stick so it is easier to eat uh, in the meanwhile a group of children run past you uh, one dressed as Estrella uh, two uh, dressed as uh, Sir Simonius which looks quite funny because the, the hind legs of course are not moving <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm imagining, horse. yeah, pantomime horse is like one of them's backside. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't look quite right. Um... Yeah. yeah, no, mostly they just have the, the, the backside made out of some fabric and metal and woodwork. I don't know, I kind of like to imagine that there's just like a big, there's like a big brother at the front and a little one at the back and the little one's like, it's, it's like, a, Tommy, mom said it's my turn to not be the ass. <laughs> <laughs> probably, probably a few have it like that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, you guys are standing there eating your food. It, it's actually pretty tasty. It's, it's slightly spicy. But the, 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 the vegetable around it make the spice not as noticeable. Uh... Uh, <clears throat> on the other side of town, of the other side of the marketplace, we have uh, another group strolling about. Uh, a masked uh, figure looking at some bookstalls. That's you, uh, Rowan. <laughs> yep. I'm... Yeah, so I'm just looking through the books like, ah, uh, let's see, Reddit, Reddit, haven't read it. Do you have anything on exotic languages? Or maybe... Uh, um, sorry, not really. Uh, several books ab about all transplanar lore. Uh, there's some books about healing. Uh, but mostly about... Nope, read, the nope, read those already. <coughs> Mostly on farming, herbalism, and that's the things that are needed around here. Uh, oh, I might take that farming book, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, behind the person on the stall, uh, you do see a book slightly encased, which says... Uh, uh, the Many Practical Uses of Magic by uh, Sir Devin Jubbletop. I don't know if I don't know if Rowan would have read that one actually. <laughs> That's... Do, do I roll something to figure out if Rowan would have read that one? Uh, I doubt it. It's uh, well, no, you would you wouldn't have. It's it's been written in the last fifteen years. Uh, wit. How much for that one actually? Uh, that one is quite expensive. It's 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 a limited edition, and uh, the author actually signed it. I won't sell it. Sorry. It's oh. it's, it's written by one of the heroes that beat the evil late Vecna. Oh right, that. All oh, right, them. I. Uh, hmm. All right then. I'll just take this farming book, please. That's gonna be ten silver. All right. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll try fantasy eBay. <laughs> FBay. <laughs> Fabe. Fabe. Hi. Yep. Uh, right, thank you. Um, <laughs> they turn, they turn, turn around. Um. Oh, sorry. We borrowed. To my companion. Uh. So behind Rowan is uh standing Tristan. Uh, a human dressed in uh, chainmail and sort of a uh, bit sort of roughshod clothes. The chainmail is a little bit out of repair, uh, needs a bit of, bit of love. Uh, the, the man himself has uh, sort of shaggy brown uh, hair coming almost to sh shoulder. He's got a couple of days of stubble. Uh, he's got a sort of a few bruises and scars over his face. Similar to his armor, it looks like he could use with a bit of repairing. Uh, and he uh, has been 
half sort of glancing around the crowd, keeping an eye out, half just looking for maybe a food stall somewhere more interesting than this while it plays on behind him and uh, he'll say, uh, no, just keeping an eye out. Uh, did you get your books? I don't know everything I was hoping for, but I found but I found one I haven't read yet. And the Rowan immediately opens up and starts paging through mm-hmm. and pulls out uh, a second book and starts writing notes down in it at the same time. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think Rowan starts, like, t- making sure... Sorry, uh, Tristan starts making sure Rowan doesn't bump into anyone. Yeah. As, uh... <laughs> Yep. As we continue moving through the market. Mm-hmm. Uh, Excuse me, sorry. I, sh- I should do it that. Uh, you barely managed to keep Rowan from bumping into an... Uh, Matthew, how do you look? Plus? Uh, I was talking, but I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh, you almost bump into Matthew, the human rogue, um, wearing simple clothes and a black robe. Um, he's tall, and his face is kind of handsome, but <coughs> you also sense that he's kind of a shady type of guy, uh, as he takes you in with a thoughtful look. Oi, watch where you're going. Uh, Rowan does not look up from either of the books and says, Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, very, I'm very sorry, this is... Um, I'm sorry, I'm not used to walking through cards. Maybe you you're not hurt, are you? Look up when you're walking through crowds. Are you reading a book? Reading, writing, yes. What are you working on? Oh, you know, just notes. Just notes. Don't you take notes when you learn something new? I tend to remember. Rowan but, looks up and um, I don't, I don't, I, I never actually like really uh, mention. I never really explained what they look like, did I? Nope. All right. Uh, so Rowan is uh, about like five six. Um, they're wear they're wearing um, they're wearing uh traveling uh they're wearing mostly traveling clothes uh in uh, black and purple, and they've got this uh, and they've got um short red hair that's maybe like an inch or two long uh, and shaved at the sides aside from a single uh, braid that goes from over their left temple down uh, past their chin Uh, and their face is entirely covered by this uh, crystalline purple mask uh, that is uh, that's um, entirely opaque and the and uh, aside from the very dark eye holes uh, it's only marked by a uh, sort of Celtic <laughs> knot looking, a uh, sort of Celtic knot in the shape of, in the vague shape of a dragon. Well, wow. And they say, and they say, oh well, that's actually very amazing. I just, I just learned so much. I can't possibly, can't re- possibly remember everything all the time. Oh, uh, that's fair enough. I guess there's. Just not a lot I I find worthy to learn. Mm-hmm. As you guys are talking, uh, behind you hear some children uh, holding up a play of uh, <clears throat> a small stage they are standing and they're holding up a play where they are uh, beating the so-called Vecna, uh, which is basically just an tall man into a uh, creepy costume <laughs> at this point they are reenacting how it went uh, you, s- <laughs> you see that the, the, the big heroes uh, you see uh, Maram casting spells that are basically just little uh, light spells casted by uh, someone next to it uh, you see uh, Sir Simonius fling, swinging his sword, Aaron doing st- the, the shooty things. Uh, yeah, you see Tordal. People, people get Aaron get completely wrong. 
Oh yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see Toidor being heroically fighting. As you see, one of the guard, the, the guard captain, uh, slightly taller as a normal dwarf, uh, having quite a bit of a beer belly, his beard not looking as beardy, looking very proud. Uh, may I ask everybody's passive perception? Uh, 16. Um, 14. Mm -hmm. Big 13. 12. 13 as well. Um, 13. Okay. Uh, uh, yes? Uh, also, that was wrong. I had it wrong on my character sheet. Big 11. <laughs> Big 11. And this. Uh, oh. Hmm. Then, actually, only... Uh, Storm is noticing this. As you see, what do you mean uh, only? What do you mean only Storm? My higher passive perception. Oh wait, yeah. then, then you as well, yeah, correct. <laughs> oh well, yeah, you're cleric. That's true. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you guys both notice in the uh, in the um, crowd, you see a person standing there, uh, looking quite nervously. Uh, he pulls out a scroll. And. He starts chanting something. Which normally wouldn't be very suspicious. Uh, but he, he, he just is acting a bit weird. And uh, Rowan and Storm, you both notice uh, on his arm a symbol. A hand with an eye in it. Would um, I uh, recognize that symbol? Is that the symbol of Vecna? Yes, it is. It is, yeah. Um, I, I'm going to um, tap... I'm going to very quickly bookmark uh, the farming book, and I'm going to tap Tristan on the shoulder and say, hey, I believe someone may be intended on crashing the party. Um, do, you think we should, do you think we should stop him? Uh, just a little <laughs> look over. I think... Tristan, well, oh, yeah. uh, Tristan was sizing up this shady fella, engaging Rowan in conversation. So he'll look over to Rowan and look to where he's pointing. No. Where they're pointing, I'm sorry. No uh, and, uh, yeah, if Tristan can clock this symbol, uh, I think he probably also recognises this. Mm -hmm. Um... While you guys are, are doing that storm, as um, quickly dashed over to him and is sort of like behind him, taps him on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, and says, that, hey mate, what's that you got there? Uh, um, sorry, I'm just... Mm. I'm just... Have a look at it. So uh, it goes to grab his scroll. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Tristan sort of starts to stride over and then sees uh, this and stops and goes, Is that, is that Storm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, isn't that, oh, isn't that the, uh, isn't that the tabaxi, the tabaxi who knocked you out? Yeah. And at that moment, uh, as Storm is next, standing next to this person, uh, you guys notice suddenly out of the ground uh, several, well, not, not out of the ground, uh, suddenly several magic warp a couple of undead in among the crowd. You. Um, yeah. that, is, that is something that we would call a big no-no. <laughs> <laughs> First initiative of the game, question mark? Uh, if you give me a second, I'm quickly also working in it. 
audio also very important uh, there we go if because yeah, i don't think i'm on here oh yeah i think i didn't have your token yet back then yeah yeah um, uh, storm's not on here um oh, oh no. no she is there no, she is up yeah there. Uh, so I guess I'll move. I started to make towards there, so I'll be a bit closer. Mm -hmm. I'm, I do need. I do need to be given uh, control over my token, please. Uh, I think oh, you yeah. need to drag. I think you need to drag on your own token then, because. Oh, okay. Oh, it was um where Storm was? Was that uh -huh. the guy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here. Uh... There All right. I I will have I I will. Oh no! Is that there. is that the guy? You're standing right next to the guy you were talking to. This guy here? Yeah. Go. Okay. Cool. The evil looking guy. Yeah. Uh, where where would, would the that. stand be? Okay. Uh, for Mrs. Neats, uh, I should actually get access to a token. Uh, and yes. Special thanks. Okay, that should work. Uh, yeah, and it's going to take me so long to relearn all of the tokens <laughs> and who they are. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I think it's time to uh, do this. Uh, for uh, Mrs. Needs, uh, you can select your token now, uh, which is the thing you need to do first, and then you can roll uh, initiative via the Indie Beyond. It's not too bad. First crit of the game, and that's gonna be the only one. Let's go. <laughs> crit on initiative. Hell yeah. Wait, I had the, ta the token selected. Why did it not add it in? Oh, am I not? Oh god. Did Wait, you I don't. Your... Did, did you drag your own token on? Yeah, I don't know if my uh, D and D Beyond sheet is synced with the. Uh, do you have the if your D and D Beyond app? Uh... Or beyond twenty up, up to date. Uh yeah. Um. Oh yeah. no, because hang on, no, because this is um. I'm in a different browser. <laughs> um. That'll do. You fool. You fell for one of the classic blunders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hang on. Uh, Turn the audio down. I think I'm gonna have to. Um... There we go. I will scream my ear. Same. God, it's a bit loud. <laughs> yeah. Come on, come on. That music's really loud. Yeah, you, you need to go, go to the the the, 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 the cog wheel and then you can uh, on roll and you can edit it. Yep, the audio visual settings. Yes. You, you can, can also uh, change the avatar down below to small, which I will do. Uh, basically, names. This music will never. This music always makes me laugh for some reason. <laughs> Anyways, uh, wait, I need also roll. Also, I that roll. Well, we made on Storm to figure her yep. things out. So, are uh, all of the um, all the yellow units here the uh, zombies? The undead? No, the zombies are zombies. Like, okay. The yellow are our Those are people. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> well, I wasn't sure. There's so many bad guys here. <laughs> I thought. I, I mean, maybe, I, I, if I you wanna maybe just like super surrounded. If you wanna just disintegration beam through all of them, that's your prerogative. How did you know I had a scroll of disintegration disintegration <laughs> bomb on me? Ram, are you spilling my secrets again? Yeah. Uh not care about I think you can roll out at all because, because... You got Oh yes. Cool. <laughs> I don't think we ever got an introduction for your character. No. 
There's, yeah, there's, there's, there's a reason for that. that. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. <laughs> just wanted to make sure I wasn't having an ADHD moment and just, like, nope, blanked nope. on the entire character. Nope. There is a reason, and we will explain it later. Ah, uh, Storm! You just stand next to this guy who was holding the scroll. You look at the scroll and it's all arcane scribbles. I don't, I don't think, think he can read arcane magic, right? No. Yeah, oh, well, this looks like suspicious nonsense. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> and it does, actually, it does look suspicious, but the guys behind him actually spawn some. some they, nice. Sorry, the what? The guy behind him did actually spawn some uh, bullshit. Oh, okay. So, can she tell that basically the scroll is what caused the... Uh, Roman Arcana check. Okay, this would be fun. <laughs> there is an echo when I speak. Also, um, for people who have not used Roll20, uh, bottom right, uh, there is this as. If you click on it, you can actually uh, pick your character. And it'll, instead of using your uh, na uh, player name, it'll use your character name. Yep. Um, no better? I, should, I should probably have done that. <laughs> but yeah, she rolled a big fat 10. <laughs> yes. Okay, okay big, big fat 10. 10. Uh, you actually have no clue what this scroll does. It could be just, uh, <clears throat> it could be some text, it could be, um, it's definitely in a different language. Uh, and you definitely are unsure about this, so you are not sure if it's okay or if he was doing anything. But the guys behind him did do something. Okay, so yeah, she did. Um, so yeah, she she would spot this uh, this zombie over here. Mhm. Mm and she's like, oh, "I'll deal with you later." And she's gonna move over to um. Okay, and she is going to um grab her spear and thrust it into dude you need to click that back not oh, hang on a sec let's try this again is that gonna no it's not gonna oh for goodness sake right do you, are you clicking on the attack roll and not uh yeah, I'm trying to click on the on the plus six in the box I to do the attack roll. I think you're clicking on the proficiency thing. Are you using Firefox? Yeah. There's issue with I mean, Firefox. I'm all, I mean, uh, I'm also using Firefox. Mm. There's an issue yet. Unfortunately, it's not. Clicking? It's not D and D Beyond isn't loading for me in Chrome, so that's why I had to switch to Firefox. Um, which part? Which part of the weapon are you clicking? So I'm clicking on the in D and D Beyond where it has the the in the hit slash DC column where it has the the plus six in the in the square oh. box that would normally be to roll the attack, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Right. So should I just roll a D twenty? Is it a D twenty plus six? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll just do that for now. Um. Exclamation mark. Roll. Twenty. Hopefully this works. Nothing happened. Uh, Excellent. It, it's flash. Oh, flash off. No, that rolled sixty twenty. <laughs> Whatever. Just take the first one in that six. <laughs> Just first one in that six. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Just uh, twenty. 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 A dirty twenty. Uh, that does hit. Okay. Yeah, right, does, a, does, a, does a 52 hit the uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, a, a, 50, a 52 misses. Okay, right, I'm just gonna... 
What do I have to do? Is it slash roll? Yeah, slash roll. Slash roll. Okay. D eight. <laughs> First, first game session. We, we will ask the tech man to to fix it. Dave, we need you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, as, as six damage. Nice. Yeah. And she will do um, a an unarmed strike as a bonus action. So that is. Uh, um... It's a D4 for you. The, yeah, I've got to do the the the, the attack though. That's still one d twenty plus six, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Seventeen. I'll switch. Okay. Also, she's the back uh, this claws. Six plus four. Uh, that is a five, and its uh, movement speed is reduced by ten feet. Okay, nice. Um, uh, rings. <laughs> <laughs> Any more fast storm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, you're not gonna farm much here, mate. <laughs> you have like a negative one to your intelligence. She's, he's like, no, yes. no brains here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Talking about the devil. <laughs> Uh, Brains, what are those? <laughs> well, Ives. Um, Eves, your turn. <laughs> this is going to be a recurring thing, isn't it? Yeah. You yeah. choose to spell it that way. <laughs> your fault. At the end of the sure. campaign. Uh, you know what, sure. At the end, end, of the, uh, end of the week, you will call yourself Ives as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's your turn. Um, <laughs> I will. Be like, God damn it, not again. Actually, would I, given that I've been already handling zombies for a while, would I know that? What you would know? No, okay. No, I'm, I'm asking what we can know because you broke up there. You could hear what you're asking about. Yeah. yeah. How is he not, is he not or going? summoning the zombies. Oh, really quick Arcana check. Arcana. I can do that. <laughs> nice. All right. You have no idea. All right. We're off to a great start. Um. Okay. Well, this guy's the closest. <laughs> so he will get to eat. Uh, 17 hits. Nice. Ray of Frost. Full damage. Uh, speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. <laughs> He's gonna be extra slow. Hang on, is he already oh, <laughs> Has he got any movement speed left? <laughs> Sure he does. Uh, actually, uh, you did 10, Storm? Yeah, minus 10. Uh, Eve did 10? Mm -hmm. His movement I speed... I did 7. His movement speed is... Oh, yeah. Zero. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's frozen in place. Yeah. Oh, boy. He, he, he's just there uh, doing the moon moonwalk. Uh, and we go to, uh, Kirk, can you please explain your character? Of course, um, uh, currently I'm playing Michael, Michael the Red. He is a, uh, a guardsman, he's a sergeant at arms and guards, he looks quite old, sort of 40s, um, long, frazzy, grey-black hair. Uh, he's wearing chain shirts, normal guard uniform, but he also has a red cloak to signify his status. Uh, on his turn, um, he'll uh, give a quick shudder and shout out, "By the goats, <laughs> gentlemen, can we all just please stay calm, stay calm. You lot, <laughs> I am gonna have to ask you to leave. 
and you corpses, I'm going to have to ask you to remain or return to your state of non-undeath. You'll make a very staunch stance in front of this small group of um, civilians. That'll be his turn. I love your character already. <laughs> Currently playing? Between... Indeed. Okay. Oh my god, between... between... Between Michael and Storm, it sounds like we have half the cast of uh, Mary Poppins in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Uh, okay. Am I wrong, though? I can't remember anyone Australian being in Mary Poppins, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I remember uh, Dick Van Dyke and his very, very, very shitty. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Poor blimey, Mary. Yeah. Yeah. Cockney accent. Yeah. It's really oh, bad no. Cockney oh, accent. No. <laughs> oh my god, this is the best thing ever. <laughs> and it's Matthew. Um, <laughs> I'm just Mary Poppins. Um, okay. Uh, so I'm standing in a crowd. Um, I will probably also say to these people, go back to your homes and lock the doors. Um, and while I'm saying that, I'm going to try and hide between the people. <laughs> because I'm like that. Oh, he's going full uh, It's my like job. Way. It's my job. Our hero, everyone. <laughs> so I, I will hide among the people, and then I'm I'm guessing I can see undead people over there so yeah. um i will try and, and you can probably at least it. smell them i can probably smell i hope i do with an 18. an 18 does hit yay and uh, that's going to be and 11. 11 total damage. Nice. And that's also my turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. Rowan. Um, quick question. Um, Storm, how strong do you look? Uh, she, well, she's um, about 5'4", five, uh, five, quite slim, so she doesn't look particularly strong. <laughs> Hmm. Fireball. <laughs> well, no, it's just... If I were to, say, cast something that required a strength saving throw, do you think you'd be okay? I mean... Only one way to find out. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Well, <laughs> that's fair. Um... What she's saying is do it, and then we'll find out. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Yes. She's <laughs> like, why'd you do that? You literally asked me to. <laughs> yeah. Well, right, uh, I'm asking you to. I don't know how I'll storm will be. <laughs> Take it. All right, but... yes. All right, so Rowan uh, steps forward and says, mm, all right, um, let's, let's, tr let's try to, let's try to control the situation a bit. And, um, they uh, pull out the uh, book that they've been um, taking notes in the entire time. And uh, it floats in the air, and pa the pages start turning, and uh, our word begin to peel off the pages and form into seeds that shoot out and land right here. And from these seeds, uh, vines begin to grow and spread and wrap all around. And I need a strength saving throw from. Let me get the measurement out quick. Nope, hang on. Yep, uh, everyone in this in that cube. As I cast Entangle. Yeah, mind you, if you get a mass of claws and fur in your face, that's a uh, that's on you. <laughs> I can't see the cube. I'm sorry. Could you? Were you drawing it temporarily? So. Yeah, I was. I, I was trying to draw that to stay for like. Yeah, you need to click. Uh, to... You need to click. Uh... To uh, make it uh, ah. persistent. What's it called? Oh, how do I do that? Uh, well, I click the thing. Oh, linger. Here it is. Yeah, that. 
Sorry, first time I've tried that. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, I don't need to. Uh... So, yeah, it's a DC 14 strength save. Yes, Storm, you're fine. Okay. So, yeah, Storm <laughs> still makes it, yeah. Certainly, these vines start grasping everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and move you. Wait, so this this guy what? is like negative speed. Does he like move backwards now? <laughs> he starts sinking into the ground. Arr. He's reverse backwards long jumping out of the entangle. <laughs> <laughs> New speed runner. Oh my god, Dawn of the Zombies is really strong. Uh, we have a wild magic. <laughs> Already. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> Already. Oh, no. Fireball! Oh yes. <laughs> if we get a fireball right now. Uh, Rowan, can okay, you roll me the D on it? Oh no. Uh, I need to replace that. Make it more fun. I. Uh, 49. Not a fireball. <laughs> nope, sorry. I. Uh, let's see, 49 is. You can't speak for the next minute whenever you try pink bubbles flying out of your mouth. Hell oh, yeah. This again? <laughs> Uh, that, that goes your magic. <clears throat> okay, cool. That's my music. And then I try to, then I try to shout out an apology, uh, to the st to Storm of Claws, who I don't think I know their, I don't think I actually know her name. Uh, but all the, but all the comes in, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's a long apology. <laughs> They were very that verbose. One, that character. was one flip for every letter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan's very verbose. And then I'm going to uh, back up and uh, pat um, <laughs> pat my friend on the shoulder and try to offer him some encouragement, but more bubbles come out. Yeah. Uh, this one guy is going to try and grab his, uh, his uh, spell score back. And. Uh... I'm gonna make him roll something for that. Uh, but he does not succeed in. He remains entangled. And he looks at his <laughs> he looks at his spell scroll. <laughs> I will kill you. Uh, this guy will move forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh-oh. And he will kill the first civilian he sees. Trying to find the person ever that just shot a zombie. Well. Uh oh. That ain't me. <laughs> that ain't me. Luckily, the, the... does he kill the first person he sees? <laughs> he, he starts chopping at this civilian, but the civilian just barely dodged out of the way. Goodness. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy is stuck. It is so weird seeing these like tiny numbers after a year of playing <laughs> Batman. Yeah, and you played a rogue too, so you're used to be much bigger. <laughs> uh, this guy is stuck. He's trying to get himself freed. Uh, a nineteen. That's at the end of his turn. Indeed. Correctly. Anyways. I'm... Well, that's his action. I think he can still move, though it is difficult terrain. Okay. Well, he will move to our storm then. Comparing his scimitar. Uh, Rowan. No. Triss. Done. Uh... Tristan is going to look at this guy reading. Um, that's suspicious. Uh, but then he sees this other one just go to fully murder a guy. Uh, and the fact that there's no one else around down there to stop him. Uh, and he's going to turn back and say, Stay safe, Ron. Uh I'm just going to deal with this. Uh, he's going to run down, pulling out uh, his <laughs> warp. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Uh, war pick, basically a war hammer with a long curved uh, sp spike like a pick, which he is now 
going to try and plant in this uh, cultist. Uh, so that is. For a second, I, for a second, I thought you were going to you were going to say into the uh, civilian and be like, "This is how you do it." <laughs> that roll. <laughs> I didn't. I'm just saving you some that. trouble. <laughs> ah, big ten. Ten. Uh, I think that misses. It definitely does. You, the cult is here, sees you coming and he blocks your walk with the scimitar. What kind of shabby knight are you? Damn blasted stupid weapon. Who makes a war pick anyway? We you use it? Uh, now we go to... Art. So, as Storm went off to confront that guy, Art just picked up a handful of these eyeballs and was eating them and watching. <laughs> and then, like like popcorn, you know, just in the zone. And then she sort of sees everything happening, the, the zombies and everything coming up, and she's like, I'm supposed to be not getting angry! He throws the eyeballs on the floor and then... <laughs> <laughs> She'll go over to this guy. And she's going to cast Ray of Frost. I think with Ray of Frost you want to be a bit in distance. There? Yeah, it is, Yeah, it's a, it's a range attack spell, is all. Okay. Mm. It's, uh, yeah. I think it's at 60 foot range, so you can be anywhere than 60 feet of him. Yeah. Anyways, 15 to hit. A 15 hits. Four calls. Nice. You chill him to the bones. Nice. Yeah, big call. Mm hmm He's still standing there. Uh, do you um, want I'm... I just want to move a bit closer because I'm going to make my way over towards Storm because she's the only friend I have. Yeah. Uh, in, so, front, yeah. in front of you, you see grasping vines covering the fields. Am I in so, range of that? So I've got that. Uh, it, I it, uh, it, won't, it won't entangle you if you are... It, it will only entangle you if you're in the area when it's first cast, but it will still slow you down because it's difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. So you only move at half speed. Yeah. But yeah. Okay. And the zombies, uh, this zombie, will f move to the first and uh, closest target he sees, which is Storm. Oh, well, keep in mind his keep in mind his speed is halved. So. Oh yeah, wait. They I... don't have much speed anyway. So one. Yeah, so I don't think he can even make it to her. <laughs> <laughs> dash. <laughs> He's gonna dash indeed and move there. <laughs> ah. Uh, the Poor other zombie. one. The other one. With movement zero, is standing there, turning his face towards, me. towards Storm, tries to punch her. Uh, does does the 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 grappled by divine to give disadvantage? Um, I let hang on a sec. I'm not actually sure because I know some spells do that. Let's alter that. Let me check. Uh, they are restrained, I think. Hang on. Uh, so restrained, the speed is zero. Attack rolls against them have advantage. Their attack rolls have disadvantage. Oh, so technically the um, the uh, ray of frost against that one guy would have been an advantage too. Yeah, but Celebi. Yeah. So yeah, he has disadvantage in the attack rolls. Uh, Storm doesn't seven hit you. Oh. He tries to punch punch you, and you you just you just skillfully block, guide the punch away from your body. Yeah. Uh, this zombie sees some yummy people behind him. Moves there. He goes for a slam. A five. He also misses. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some lucky people. This guy moves here, and he will go. I think that I think that one civilian is like the dodgeball champion of the town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's recruit him. <laughs> uh, this one will go for uh, Tristan. Go for a slam. Nineteen. Uh, hits. Uh, for two damage. 
As you as you're uh, are, uh, wrestling with this uh, cultist, ha ha have your war pick stuck with his scimitar. You suddenly see a zombie coming from your side and he just punches your full nose. Uh, I think Tristan growls out. Don't you think? Don't you think you're taking the reenactment a bit too far? Uh, this card will <clears throat> grapple this zombie. Oh, the fuck! Oh, he's gonna <laughs> smell for days. Yep. Uh, which sounds or in? Yeah, he's trying to do something. Yeah. He... And then he suplexes it, yeah. Uh, 16. And he suplexes it away from the village civilians so they can run away. Oh. That makes more Hell sense. Hell yeah, my hero. What a good guy. Yeah. What a guy. I wonder where this weird assassin looking guy just went. <laughs> Go on. I mean, I, mean I, saw, I mean, I know where you are. You didn't roll that high. It's scared for her. Yeah, still. Also, also, remember you don't have the uh, rogue skills yet. I know. Try it in the bonus action. Uh, these ones will run away. Oh, right. That's a good point, actually. I say I know. I did not. Six. This one will dash and protect the children. Come on. You need to go. Run. Children will start running as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sprinty, sprinty. This one will. I thought they were flowers. <laughs> <laughs> they were dressed. They were dressed up as flowers. This guy. That's will adorable. Swing his spear. And try to stab the guy, but he has advantage. He has advantage. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Straight in the face. <laughs> let's, recruit, let's recruit this guy. Yeah. Uh, you guys see this uh, slightly taller dwarf run behind this guy and stab him full in the back. Well, <laughs> stab him up the butt. <laughs> Did. Uh, these guys can now run away. Uh, the zombie will make an attack opportunity. It was scared, so they don't care. And 12 hits. And sadly, this one villager is not running anymore. As they fall to the ground. Uh, but we go back to Storm. Okay. Um, so she's now in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> the um because our food the, you like food so th this this uh zombie here is restrained right yeah he's not moving okay you have advantage on him so, so she had advantage okay so she will jab again at him with her spear and shall i just um roll 2d20 and we just add six to the higher yeah sure one of the two okay so 12 plus 6, that's 18. 18 hits. Okay, so that would be... Let me get the thing again. 28 plus 4. Okay, so that's another 10. Mm -hmm. um, and he goes down. He goes down, excellent. And she is going to swing a... Um, punch it um or or a kick or whatever at uh the cultist um yeah he's there's... not rest... yeah he's not restrained so it won't be an advantage no that, okay that. that's fine um that's that's uh 14 hit a uh, 14 hits okay um oh. And that is a uh, five slashing damage, and his speed is reduced by ten feet. Mm -hmm. He is definitely not running. <laughs> <laughs>
But yeah, still standing. Mm -hmm. uh, Eve. I am going to attempt a, a new spell. Mm. Aren't, all you, aren't all your spells new? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I have never played this fucking thing before. How the fuck do I spell cast? Uh, <laughs> Where are you casting at? C -A -S. I will cast this, uh, this guy. Okay. 16 hits. Hey, okay. Boo. Hey, boo-boo. Uh, that. <laughs> Wait, kitty? Wait for DM kitty. Looking very confused. <laughs> I do nine points of cold damage. Okay, he goes down. I was debating between the spell and chromatic orb, but the spell sounds more fun, so we're gonna do this one. Chaos is fun. Hooray! Uh, but he goes down. Uh, Michael! Of the Red Variety. Sorry, I forgot I was muted. Um, I think Michael will see uh, this civilian get killed and get struck down. He'll run over to their age. So one, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, he'll dash and try to um, investigate them to see if there's any chance of helping them. Uh, roll medicine check. I have dashed though. So will that yeah. be next turn? Yeah, well, uh, be next turn, yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Matthew. Okay, well, someone just got smacked in the face. Um, okay, um, I will. Can I select my character? Okay, there we go. I will move around um, over to this side as I take out my rapier and I'm going to stab this, this zombie. 18 hits? An 18. Haha, <laughs> okay. You do have Just like in case you have advantage. advantage. Oh, and advantage. Okay, well. Yep. So roll again. Could be a crit. It's doing. Well, I'm. I rolled a 1. It's not showing up, but I rolled a 1. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> so... take the 18. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, I mean, can't save. <clears throat> And he goes down. Yeah. Not very, not very good con saves for these guys. <laughs> I'm rolling horrible. But yeah, he goes down. Uh, bubble run. Right. I can I cast any like? It says he can't speak. Not that you can't like make noise. Can I? Can I f fashion my bubbles into the into the sounds I need to cast a spell or no? Uh. I'm, you I'm, say them and then pop them as you do the somatic component yeah. to release the sound. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, can I just... uh, yeah, sure. You have to make a check for that. Yeah, roll, roll me in and and uh, spell spell modify uh, your your spell thing. Wisdom check. Okay. Yes. I am allegedly good at that. I am very good at that. Yep, you managed to to wisdom your your spells out. Awesome. Um, I am going to um flick my hand at the uh flick my hand and toss a um it toss a little swirl of purple fire at uh this dude right here, and I need a dex saving throw. For sacred flame, please. At disadvantage because he is uh restrained. Uh, seven. That will not do it. For whole two radiant damage. 
Hell yeah. Dude, well. the big numbers. <laughs> <laughs> you you I, hit but... you hit him with all your might. And he's still standing. It's the bubbles. <laughs> 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 I used up my I used up my good roll trying to trying to cast, uh, and then I'm um, I will bonus action cast healing word on the civilian that was taken down, and just to be just to make it thematically appropriate, I will actually blow a bubble and it will float over to <laughs> to him, <laughs> and pop and he and, <laughs> and pop and uh healing magic just dri and healing magic splashes on his face. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, cultist. Oh, that's much better. That's much better, yeah. <clears throat> uh, this cultist will make an attack against uh, the, the, the caster in front of him. A.K.A. Art. At disadvantage. At disadvantage, yes. Art, doesn't 13 hit you? Yes. Alright, he does 5 slashing damage. So he okay. swings and he, he cuts at, at your dress uh, over your stomach. Uh, making you not happy. Uh huh. <laughs> uh, well, I just used my last spell slot, so I can't tell you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Rowan. No, uh, Tristan. Sorry. Jesus, names. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so Tristan's. The zombie in front of him go down, he sees uh, Rowan heal the civilian next to him. Uh, he goes from reaching down towards him to sort of give the thumbs up to Rowan and then goes to sprint over uh, here, uh, sort of rest his war pick on the ground for a second, pulls out a javelin and throws it at that zombie. <laughs> That's being suplexed. Mm -hmm. uh, I will give you advantage. Oh, okay. He, he's being Thank suplexed. He, his, his head is stuck in the ground and he's just... Uh, <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> 19. 19 hits? Uh, seven piercing damage. You pierce him in the, in the abdomen. Uh, he's still standing there. Well, <clears throat> his head is still dug into the ground. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, uh, we that's your turn. Uh, yeah. Art. Uh, I'm going to. Hit this guy covered in ice in front of me with my quarter staff. Mhm. Mm <laughs> Just bonk him. With yeah, I'm I'm of... I'm pissed now because you know. I was kind of expecting I'm going have... to rage, but you yeah. know. You do have advantage. You do have advantage. <laughs> yep. I just uh, okay. Roll again. I have advantage. Yeah. This is my first time literally ever casting. <laughs> I'm good. <ca> casting <laughs> entangle. I did not realize it was such a good spell. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the raid. Um, I'm also proficient, so I get the 1d8 instead of a 1d6, right? Uh, uh, no, that's, no, that doesn't matter. That that's no? depends on if you're doing a 200 or 100. Okay. It's we'll have to go over that later. We, we get on a raid, guys. Hey! Hello! Hi, raiders! And it's, I think we're going for 6 damage, and well... You bunk him on the head, and he goes down. Nice. You dare cut um, me. <laughs> Is your rage sated, or do you still crave more blood? <laughs> no, um, I'm going to use bonus action to cast a healing word on myself. Ooh. Interesting. Ooh. Mm. I thought you were a wizard. <laughs> Oh, that's good. Alright, four healing points. Nice. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, when we go to the zombies turn, uh, the one next to Storm, luckily was free, is going to try and slam her. As he swings his fist, Storm! Yep. <clears throat> you see him. You see him uh, back down for the swing, and you see that he's leaving an opening for you. You get a free attack. Because he rolled a natural. Oh, well, nice. Okay. Um, but this is not with advantage, is it? Because he's not. No, he's no, not. He is restrained. No, he's not is restrained. He? This one's free. Oh, okay. This one's free. Okay. Um, right. So that's just. I don't think. I don't think he ever uses action to get free. The other one. The other. No, this one saves. Other... This one. No, safe. this one was the one that dashed. She. She got the nineteen on string. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was uh, this one that saved. No, the, this one was pathetic and was the one that was already frozen. The frozen okay. one. This guy came from over here. Yeah. Okay, I made a mistake then. And twenty-five okay. does hit him. As he. Okay. Gives himself open. You just give a quick. Uh, stab with your spear, probably. Yep. Uh, rolling LB. For seven. Seven. He is damaged, and he, he, he will. He wants to turn the swing. You quickly stab him, preventing him from his, his swing. Uh, this yep. zombie stands up from his uh, predicament. Looks at the guy, the guard that just subtext him. And tries to punch him in the in the gut. Hey Rem, your audio is cutting out at random. Ooh. Oh, oh no. no. Ooh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Never mind the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's because uh yeah, funny stuff. Anyways, this zombie reels back for a punch and punches this guy full in the face. Breaking his, his, his skull. Oh. Ouch. Yep. Uh, you guys hear this dwarf, uh, half dwarf, half human scream. No! James! One, two, three, four, five. He runs up. Tries to hit him with a spear. Misses. Uh, and then we go to none other than Storm. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so she's just gonna like stab the uh, this zombie again. Mm -hmm. Okay, nineteen. Nineteen hits. Yep. That is for nine. Mm -hmm. um, still standing. He's still standing. Yep. Okay, so she's gonna swing with her claws as well. Uh, uh, does a ten hit? A ten does hit. It does. Okay. Yeah. Zombies are not very, very dexterous. No. <laughs> Oops. Okay, for another five damage. Mm -hmm. And that reduces his speed by ten feet. Yep, he is still standing. Mm -hmm. He has a movement speed of five. <laughs> so, oh, you're a tough blighter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I need to real frost that guy and make him negative five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he starts walking backwards. <laughs> For science, you know. <laughs> I you do that, his legs just fall off. Oh, it's my turn. Perfect. Let's do it. For oh. science. Uh, we have a complication. Oh, uh, great. Complication is one of the guards does not move. <laughs> oh, hi, Mink. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, a 17 hits. Uh, Please re roll the damage. Yeah, working on it. 
seven. Okay, I need to roll some as well. <clears throat> this zombie, as he gets hit by the frostbite, starts digging his own grave as he dies. <laughs> <laughs> he grabs his shovel, puts it in the ground, and then goes down. Disappears. <laughs> <laughs> And I will move. Uh, what's my move speed? 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mm -hmm. uh, Michael. Um, so Michael is going to pick up this um, injured citizen and sort of get them on their feet and get them to go on their way. Uh, and he's going to move around and he's going to inspect... Um, this wounded guy, just to see if there are any life signs, to see if he's dead or if he could um, be saved. Uh, Rob and Cynthia. Uh, what stat is that? Wisdom. In whiz. 20. Uh, there is still a small sign of life. Um, yeah, there's still a small sign of life. You want to stabilize yeah, him? That's it. Hmm? You want to stabilize him? Ah, oh, yes, please. All right, I'll allow the 20. So. He is no longer dying and is now unconscious. A D20. Yeah, 90 plus 1, I, I can allow it. That's fine. Uh, anyways, we have uh, none other than Matthew. Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I could hear you. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um. What did you say? Did you did you ask me to roll something? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Uh, that will be his turn then. Okay, Matthew. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm gonna run over to there and I'm going to take a, take a stab. I'm gonna stab his stab. 24 hits? I sure hope it does. <laughs> 9 damage, he's still standing. As I say, wow, that was quite rude and cruel. <laughs> That's uh... crude. Do you not get sneak? Ruth. <laughs> oh, you did. You got one sneak. Oh, sad. Never mind. Yeah, it's sad. <laughs> oh. oh, we got an alt magic. Uh, Roland. Oh, good. Just wow. in time. <laughs> 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 All right. And she was supposed right. to be the angel on the side of chat. <laughs> was she? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna drop concentration, and the vines uh, immediately wither and uh, fall and fall back into. Uh... Actually, they actually they sort of transform into ink and just splatter across the ground before it is, before it evaporates. And I'm gonna walk over here, and um, is this cultist still up, or what's going on with him? Uh, he's currently on the ground, looking unconscious. Okay. So um, he's not in combat set position. Okay, cool. Make, I, if it helps, I will... yeah. Michael is kind of over him and helping him survive. Cool. Give him mouth uh, to mouth. I will. I will. Do I have to roll uh, another wisdom check to see if I can cast on that guy? Yeah. All right. It builds up for one minute, uh, so. You are fine. <laughs> I'm you so wise, you guys. Fluent in bubbles. I see, can I add that to my languages? <laughs> I mean, I do. I, do, I mean, bubbles. I do have. Prim, I do have primordial. I could. I can speak bubbles. <laughs> speak bubbles. <laughs> That's what they spoke back in the day. <laughs> uh, that okay, dialect, uh, the back one, I believe. Yeah. Can I get another uh, dexterity saving throw from this zombie, please? Yeah. See if I can get a D under it. Well, you can't. I get. I quit. 
13. Does not save. One sec. Three damage. Wow, go, moving up in the world. <laughs> it's increasing. Alright, let's... Maybe you need to read more books. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, not 70%. nothing. Oh, uh, you cast Polymorph on yourself! <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I have to make a w I mean, make that wisdom saving throw. Is it against my own spell save, DC? Yes. Like, is that how that works? <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, I, was, you're fine. I, was really, I was really hoping I would actually fail that and just be oh. like a sheep, a sheep running around with bubbles coming out of my mouth. I mean, I mean, you can. Per, you can I've you, seen this before. You can choose to fail. <laughs> well, I don't want to be a sheep for an hour, so. <laughs> yeah, an hour can <laughs> fix you if you become a sheep. Yeah, but does anyone does any, would any of you know to do that? Probably be looking at you. <laughs> see, and Probably recognize possible. the bubbles. <laughs> yeah, if, if you start spewing bubbles, we'll know it's you. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, screw it. I do, I do choose to fail that. <laughs> <laughs> I will take on my true form of a soap sheep. A soap. A soap. A soap. Uh, do we need to roll perception Poof. to notice or, what, if he's transforming? Um, this is the best. There we go. Of course I have a token for a sheep. <laughs> okay. Me <laughs> put bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, uh we go to uh <clears throat> the cultists who are dead. Well not dead, but unconscious. Uh we go to Tristan. Uh right. This is going to take notice that his partner is a sheep. Uh, he's looking the wrong way, I think. <laughs> he's, he's not got very good passive perception either. Oh, very good. Uh, yeah, so Tristan's going to pick back up the war pick, walk over to. Actually, uh, I think I can circle around in order to get flanking mm -hmm. and try and smash down this zombie. Uh, so, da, 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 da. there we are. It's not rolling for some reason from D&D Beyond. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, technical difficulties. Yeah, it's just opening the the line. Uh, all right, I'll just do it from the character sheet. Oh, cool. And nine hits. Oh, cool. <laughs> what? Damn. Crazy. <laughs> well, they do have, like, minus two dexterity, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, really 11 piercing damage. Mm. Uh, you need to make a con save of uh, 16. What just... <laughs> okay. What? I was, say, I was just about to say, what just be the one con save of the zombie? <laughs> 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 you remain standing. Art. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just gonna shoot a ray of frost at the the zombie. Barely standing, the zombie who looks very hungry for brains. Yeah. <laughs> at least he doesn't want mutton. I'm gonna try and get him quickly so he doesn't eat you. Uh, Twenty-four to hit. Oh. Twenty-four hits. For James. Uh, two. <gasps> <laughs> Out of curiosity, what is everyone's uh, intelligence score so we know whose brains I would actually go for? Well, James Plus is one. on the floor with his skull cracked open, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, this guy goes down. <laughs> After his brave strand against uh, Tristan, Art just freezes him over and you guys are out of combat. Yay! Yay! Dawn takes the um, stick with the last meatball on it that she put and stuff on her belt and just like starts numbing on it. <laughs> she like walks over. Uh, to, uh, oh. I so I tr I trot over to Tristan and, and like headbutt him affectionately. 
and then blow well, bubbles in his face. First of all, <laughs> immediately this uh, uh, girl James, he said, was had his skull smashed open. Yep. Uh, so not much chance of coming back from that, I'm guessing. No, nope, he looks uh, pretty. Uh... <clears throat> yeah. Deadified. Yeah. Uh, I pull my <laughs> my war pick and my javelin out of this zombie, uh, and I look around for Rowan. Bubbles. <laughs> you 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 don't see Rowan. You see a ship of bubbles. Bubbles. That is headbutting you currently. Uh, I'd like to try and roll animal handling to <laughs> <laughs> milk the sheep. To sort of get, get this sheep to uh, stop headbutting me and blowing bubbles in my face. No question uh, as to whether or not bubbles are natural. Just not now, little one. I'm looking for someone. Uh, animal oh, handling. Hang on, the sheep would still have the mask on. No, everything you carry. Oh, also, how is Rowan blowing bubbles? Are they coming out of the eye holes? They're coming out of the eye holes, yeah. <laughs> okay, so the, the, the mask melds I mean, into the... In that case, uh... <laughs> no, no, uh, no, Rem, because of the, uh, because of what the mask is and does, uh, it would end ah, okay. the whole situation. It, the sheep would be wearing the mask. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Blowing bubbles through the eye holes. Michael um, starts tying up the prisoner. Yeah. Saved. What have you done now, Rowan? Oh, crimes. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should still roll that animal handling check. <laughs> uh, 15. I shouldn't have advantage on that. Mm hmm. I don't know, do I roll something against that? Since I have the animal. Uh, roll, roll, <laughs> roll, uh... This, this has literally never happened before. Yeah, no, I don't know what to say. Uh, roll me a wisdom check as sheep. What's think sheep's I'm, wisdom? I think I'm mostly trying to make sure you're calm, so I don't know. Oh, I'm calm. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, check up, I guess, get an idea of what the sheep is thinking. Sheep thoughts. They want grass. Uh, I don't know what a sheep's wisdom is, but I want to imagine it's a negative, so... I don't think it's negative, but I think it's a straight 10, but... Like most animals. Anyways. Well, sheeps are actually quite perceptive, because they technically still prey animals. Let's see. Uh, but in the core... As you, as, as you stand there, as a sheep, you perceive... Something. A Welshman. Looking very hungry at you. Excuse me? <laughs> Is it the guard? <laughs> Is it the... <laughs> Sorry. I would be careful if I was you. <laughs> <laughs> More bubbles. Wait, who, who's, looking, bubbles. who's looking hungrily at my boss, the sheep? <laughs> my boss, the sheep. <laughs> some some Marcus saw guy. <laughs> I, I just sent him a look. I said, back off. <laughs> he softly backs off. Uh, you see this 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 uh, dwarf guard. Uh, ah, well done. Uh, I'm I'm the uh, city captain, the, the the guard captain. My name is Tordal. Oh. Um, are you sure you should be talking to us and not check if this is happening all around town? <clears throat> well, we have guards over town, so they should be fine. Let's hope so. Let me sit down. Have you see him grab a flask from his side and? He drinks from it, and he looks up in the sky. Huh. Is that smoke coming up there? Meh. That's bubbles. <laughs> no, the bubbles only last one minute. <laughs> Polymorph lasts for an hour. 
<laughs> so unless someone does something, huh? I will be a sheep for an hour. I don't think any uh, of us can I mean, help you at this point. I, I think Trist Tristan's going to bring Rowan the sheep over to those two people mm -hmm. uh, he saw casting spells earlier. Yeah. Uh, over here. Excuse me, you two seem like uh, wizardly types. Do you know happen to? Do you happen to know how to fix this? Uh, I just uh, at the sheep. Uh, my friend here. Very interested. My oh, friend here you. is to have uh, become a sheep. <laughs> this isn't a normal sheep. Um, okay. Uh, I I am. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The best part is Rowan would know how to fix this. <laughs> uh, but they currently have the brain of a sheep. Who try eating it? Uh, Arch. Uh, polymorph is third level, right? Uh, it's fourth. 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 Okay. fourth. Yeah. fourth. The sixth, sixth will be good then. Uh, Eve, you recognize this as as uh, the spell polymorph. Uh. Well, you recognize the spell polymorph, you know how it's done. Either you dispel magic it, which you currently not have within your vicinity, or your spell book. Or smack him. Or you smack him, yes. Can I do a thematic thing that I know technically does not work? Can I cast a new champion? Smack him. <laughs> can you mage Can you mage slap me across the face? Is that what you're asking? <laughs> With a main chance, absolutely, I allow it. Okay, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> Even though I know main chance does not allow you to attack, but yeah. <laughs> who cares? This is funny. Yeah. <laughs> and Storm's um, like, "Well, mate, what did what that sheep do to you?" <laughs> Just so you know, sheep have four HP, so you're gonna have to slap me a few times, I think. <laughs> So uh, I don't I don't say anything, but you you see a hand floating in the sky, and it just starts bitch slapping him. Yeah. Until he turns back. <laughs> like whoa whoa whoa. Uh, I feel like Tristan. <laughs> a Tristan, Tristan redraws his war pick. <laughs> what? Look, I know what I'm, I'm doing. He's he's polymorphed. He needs to, uh, it's, essentially it's get some sense smacked into him, and he'll be fine. As Pretty you sure you can't do that to a sheep. <laughs> mummy, it's, mummy, it's, it's that no, thing in no, the sky. No, stop, stop, it's, it's not a sheep. <laughs> not really. What, <laughs> what is it then? Uh, Person. We're going to transfer him back. We're going to transfer him back and the old wool just like explode off me and suddenly standing there with like a mage hand slapping me. <laughs> sure. See, 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 I told you. <laughs> uh, just, uh, <laughs> Actually, roll me an an uh, intelligence check. Uh, I no an uh, charisma check. Your sorcerer. Charisma right. check. Yes. Uh... I like how there's mean, no longer yeah. arguing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you luckily in time recognize this that he transforms back or they transform back. So he holds the hand. Yeah. yeah just uh, poof. Wool everywhere. Just poof. That was weird. See, I told you. Polymorph. You'd have thought the gods would have sorted that out by now. It's been 15 years. <laughs> I'd be silly. But the gods aren't real. As Matthew what? walks up oh. and says, Well, you, I see you haven't lost your mind. That's good. Oh, Michael, I, I know what I'm doing. Go ahead, Sometimes, sir. but... Go ahead. Go ahead. Michael, Michael is perusing the crime scene when he comes across the body of the uh, murdered guard. Mm -hmm. He'll recoil and say to his nearby guardsmen, I need you to shoal the body, take it back to the barracks, and come back here with a detail of six men for the cleanup. Can you do that? I can, I can. You, you see Toradol take a big swig from the... <clears throat> That's that's not an uh, e that's an easy job for the one that helped beat Vecna. 
Are you oh, I meant like the generic. I meant the generic oh. guardsman. Jimmy. I didn't mean. Yeah. He's not ordering. The captain of the ground. I was going to say I didn't like the idea that I thought I somehow ended up subordinate to someone. <laughs> No, I just thought it was, yeah, it's just going to be. No. So, I mean, it sounds like Thordal is an alcoholic at this point, so. <laughs> it's like, it, sounds, it sounds like this is the only job he could get, and they didn't want to turn him away because they think he did actually save the world, but no one wants to be like, yeah, he's a mess. Uh, yeah. <laughs> send him yeah, to, to fantasy AA. Send him to far. Yeah. Now you five, stay where you are. What did any of you see? Where Six. did these men come from? Six. No, uh, uh, six. Yeah, one. we're missing it. A... Get your token six. on board. Oh, you. Miss... Right, sorry. Bro, oh, yeah. Poof. The sheep. D sheep. Oh. D -sheep Where the fly. hell did you come from? The sheep. <laughs> did you what, not what see the sheep? explosion of wool? <laughs> I, offer him some, I offer him some wool. <laughs> Would you like it? Magical wool. <laughs> it's magic wool. First of all, Rowan, now you're less woolly. Uh, are you all right? Oh yeah, I feel entirely fine. Wasn't injured at all. Good. Uh, I'm gonna heal two hit points. Yeah. Sorry, I can't I... see if your cheeks are red. Hmm. Okay. Uh, as I ease lay on hands on myself. Yeah, I. Yeah, they would heal you, but I am currently, but they are currently out of spell slots. So, uh, as you guys stand there, you slowly see some smoke rising from lots of buildings, and you hear uh, the town bell ringing. Not more zombies, is it? Well, good sir, your question is gonna have to wait because there's trouble. Oh, to answer your question, I think that was a cultist of Vecna. He had the tattoo and everything. And he also had... Uh, I'm going to walk around... Uh, I'm going to walk around to this uh, one who was reading something. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's the one. And whatever he was reading, I'm going to pick out of his... scroll. Mm -hmm. And then walk back over. Michael will point to another one of the guards, um, instruct him to take the prisoner he captured back to the barracks as well. Mm hmm. Yes, sir. They start walking. As for you, six, I'm not letting you out of my sight. Come with me, we're in investigating the smoke. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, what have you got? Oh, what have you got there, Tristan? I. No I idea. Message. May I see it? Uh, yeah, it was that, that cultist was fooling around with it. I, I send a message to Matthew going, do you know these people? Message works that I can respond, right? <laughs> yeah, you, you, can, you can respond and only I can hear. <laughs> you can respond to this message. I think I've seen one or two maybe around, but no, never met them. Uh, Rem, do I have to roll... I have a kind of proficiency. Do I have to roll that to uh, figure out what the spell scroll is, or do can I just like read it normally? Uh, you can read it normally. You you know Arcana. You know spells. Uh, this is a bit of a uh, special spell created by Vecna, uh, and it's called uh, Summon Zombie. Basically, and, and change to to the summon spell. Uh, make <laughs> transport dead. Yeah. Oh, this is a Vecna. This is a Vecna original. <laughs> Wonderful. I think, I think I think I have a I think we have a copy of this back in the library. What kind oh, of library that's... do you have? Are you sure? Uh, also, by the way, because we sort of glossed over earlier, Rowan's comments about the gods. I assume Tristan's heard this before. Yes. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Rowan is an Rowan is a uh, atheist. Uh, and uh, 
<laughs> Storm is uh, kind of eyeing up Tristan. And she's like, "Do I know you from somewhere?" Wouldn't... Uh, yeah, we uh, had a scrap. Uh, oh, you were that. Couple yeah, of little one me, that uh... caused you to steal my chicken. You were the. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you were the one who went down like a sack of spuds. <laughs> you were the one who wasn't. You were the one who wasn't paying attention at the start of a fight and took oh, an easy oh, hit. No, you can blame him and his chicken for that. <laughs> Was a chicken. Anyway, that sounds good right now, That's actually. Chicken, like, <laughs> yeah, you were you weren't like a normal patron of that uh, establishment, but well, you, uh... IRL, IRL, I actually have some chicken nuggets in the air fryer right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, you, you can't, uh, you can't feeling a bit self-conscious. It's gonna like move behind. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people. Yeah. Yeah. Although well, perhaps not as many as you when it comes to uh, fisticuffs. So, uh, what, what, means, so, what, so what is your name then? All of you. It's nice to meet you all. My name is Rowan Dannis. Oh, I'm Storm. Storm of Claws. Oh, that, is chicken very teeth. Cool, that is a very cool name. Oh, I'm going to call her Chicken Teeth. She kind of like shoots him a look. <laughs> <laughs> Eve just holds a grudge forever. Yeah. <laughs> just like that was the, like you just like that was the that was the best chicken I never had. It was the one that cut away. Yeah. It was good. I had a few bites and then she stole it. <laughs> uh, Kristen, read if you need a surname. Uh, this is, this is Matthew, and I'm Eve. Oh, hello. It's nice, hello Eve. Nice to finally, it's nice to finally put a name to the face, Matthew. And likewise. And I, and how about you, my pale friend? Uh, ah. Uh... A nice name. And then she goes quiet again and hides. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, that's a look. That's a look. That's a lovely name. Uh, right, introductions done. We should probably follow on, uh, if that's what we're doing. Yes, I think it's probably in our best interest to follow the red man. <laughs> the red man. Well, I don't think we got his name, did we? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. I think he was just like, ah, oh, yes, I am an authority. <laughs> you will follow me. Yeah. Uh, you follow as we me. walk, I'm gonna hand Art one of the eyes of Vecna that I saw her throw on the floor. But, like, the one that I took from the stall and not from the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you drop this. <laughs> I noticed you want, wanted some of these, so here you go. And if if a uh, storm starts eyeing them too, they'll be like, "Fine, you can have some too." <laughs> yep. Uh, as you guys approach this house, you 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 hear something screaming uh, outside. Uh, where is my anvil? Why do I keep losing my anvil? That's my anvil. Uh... Uh, you see an, an, uh, <clears throat> a man standing in front of the burning house. Uh, no, 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 no. Metal. Metal. Huh. Metal is inside. You, you, huh. you, you uh, around you, you see people, um, Starting to to bring water. Uh, the, some people went inside and. Uh, is the door open? The door is open. I'm gonna try to cast ray of frost on the fire and see what happens. Okay, you start cooling down the fires. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah. That's the best I can do. Tristan's gonna run inside. And I'm, going... I'm also running inside. Uh, before he runs inside, I'm going to cast uh, Guidance on Tristan. Mm-hmm. Uh, just in case he, he needs it. He gives you a nod and just goes, stay safe. You as well. Uh, just a nod as he runs into the burning building. Um, I, I would run in as well, because uh, uh, I'm to fire. Yeah, I think Storm would also uh, run in. I I will direct my mage hand in there. <laughs> Speaking Michael will not. Token. Michael will not. He'll instead pull out a small bell and start ringing, shouting, "Call out quenchers! Call out quenchers!" Yeah, telling uh, local guards to bring water and buckets. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to stay back here just in case anyone needs help, and also I will be right back because I have to go grab my chicken nuggies. <laughs> No, no, uh, oh, oh, oh you're misspelling, you're missaying that. They're din dinosaur nuggets. No, unfortunately, the store didn't have any dinosaur no. nuggets, so... No, 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 chicken is still a dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur nuggies. They're dinosaur nuggets. Fine, my, de my de-evolved dino nuggies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, technically, some history nerds call chickens avian dinosaurs. This is the equivalent of calling humans hominid bacteria, if you make any sense. <laughs> Wait, wait, okay, right, yeah. I'll be right. Yeah. Oh, so you, you two run inside. I've got a few of them. <laughs> you guys run inside, and you see uh, at the back door, you see an, uh, a hooded person um, looking at something in the ha hand that looks like a map. Looks back at you. And then, in a poof of misty step, disappears. Well, what? <laughs> uh, I'm just and... gonna wave it aside and move the yeah. forward. Uh, roll me as you as you run inside. Roll me uh, first and uh, Constitution save. All three. Okay. As you uh, save. Yes. Constitution save. Okay. Oh, bollocks. Oh, wow. <laughs> We're doing great. Yep. You guys run inside and you immediately get assaulted by this thick, thick smoke uh, filling your lungs. You're coughing. The heat is, is a lot. Uh, you push through, but you each of you guys suffer. Uh, Uh, two points of damage. <clears throat> from the from the heat, and the fire, uh, and okay, guys, roll me an uh, a regular perception check with the with disadvantage. That's a smoke, this and the, yes, the smoke and heater grabbing at you. Get into your way. Um, I might just have to roll it twice, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. I got my nuggies. Okay. Nice. Uh, Evil. Oh, sorry, nuggies. perception. Wait, hang on a second. Perception with disadvantage. Okay. Uh, wait, what did that do? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. 18, nice. Uh, storm. Uh, it's it takes mm -hmm. it. The rest is, is stumbling around, but you quickly find uh, a body of a of an uh, of an woman. Uh, clearly a throat slit. Uh, you you give give that person. You give it to one of the others to bring her outside. Uh, continues mm -hmm. looking on. You see that the building has been. Rummage through the through and uh, somebody has clearly been searching something uh, before setting it ablaze. Uh, as you search, you quickly find an, an another person. I, again, uh, this guy looks. This this person uh, is tied up uh, on a chair and severely mutilated. Oh. <clears throat> Uh, 
She's like, oh, oh, don't look. Oh. Um, and she's going to like direct um, one of the other guys to help her uh, get the body out. I'll help. Uh, yeah, yeah I can, um, I, I'm I gonna, can I'm going to bring down the flames of Thaumaturgy as well. Okay. <laughs> Eve is just spending the fight with, with the mate hands. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna run out with the body and then run back in. I'm I'm rave I'm frosting whatever fire I can see, and my mage hand is doing something. Um, can I? Is the body is the body dead or just like dying? And uh, well, the, the, they are both dead. Oh. Can I roll something to figure out what happened to them? Uh, well, See if there's any signs. Well, off the, off the go, you can be quite quick. I've tried a bit. <laughs> but, uh, can, well, I see, can I see if this fire has been caused by natural, like, uses or whether it was, like, magical? Uh, roll me a card check. Ten. <clears throat> uh, at this point, you are not sure if it's either, either or the other. So. Can I take a look at the mutilated, like, tortured guy? Like, do I recognize the style of, 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 well, interrogation and torture? Uh, roll an investigation check. And, uh, for, uh, Rowan, roll me a medicine check. Actually, roll me two right. medicine checks. Well. All right. Medicine, medicine, medicine. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll give myself guidance on both of those. Okay. Okay, and right, so that's a seventeen and a fifteen then. Okay, cool. Uh you check these bodies. Uh the woman uh you think he has been dead for about uh let's say five minutes. Um the guy uh looks about dead for about 30 seconds uh clearly heavily tortured before uh as if somebody tried to subtract information from him so he was attacked in the fire and she was attacked before the fire was started yeah it, it basically, basically so the fire was set to hide the murder but... Yeah. So what what kind of a house is this? Is it like a pretty big house compared to the others, or is this just quite regular? Uh, it, it looks like a quite regular house. Uh, you can see uh, normally this would house one one family, but uh, or maybe normally this would house one family or maybe uh, two families that are just starting up. Uh, so to say, if it makes sense, just basically yeah. like yeah. Uh, you, you see the, the, the other guy run towards the, the, the mutilated body. Uh, no, 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 no. Huh. No, um. middle, middle. Huh. Damn it. Uh, Ren, um, so I, sh I should have um, asked this earlier, but when um, Storm saw the person who disappeared, um, was there, did they have any like um, um, insignia on them or anything that she might recognise? Uh, roll me a perception check. Okay. Is that uh, with disadvantage again? Yes, because of, because of the constitution save, you don't, you the smoke, etc., yeah. etc. It's getting you. 18 again, oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You, you are quite perceptive. Apparently so. Uh, <laughs> Roll a third time, see if you get another 18. <laughs> yeah. How's it best? It? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, you did see a an, an marking on them. Okay. They were wearing an, an uh, 
tattoo on the on her forearm with this symbol and red shield with a golden cup and a black mm. moon on it okay um did she recognize that symbol uh roll me um history check Oh, what, sorry, history check. Yep. Unless you're still coughing up smoke and... Come on, 18. <laughs> Let's get another 18. <laughs> oh, <Yes. laughs> With a minus uh, one. <laughs> God, still yeah. just sort of killing it. All the time. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Okay, so <laughs> <I'm> danger. <laughs> no wonder you lost that fight to her. She cannot be stopped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This this right here is why I'm not I I did not fight her back when she stole my ticket right right here. Yeah. <laughs> very very clever. Who do you know at roll twenty? What have you got on? <laughs> and this, um, <laughs> you can you get me in on this? <laughs> you you just need to talk to the karma gods. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, who, yeah, who do you have? Who do, who do you have by the short hairs? It makes a change. <laughs> uh, but this symbol is of a small uh, cult of the of the hidden moon. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, but the, the cult of the hidden, hidden moon is basically a uh, cult that was created after the uh, nerdy falling of the moon. Um, and uh, Storm, you would know that this order is uh, basically an organization uh, running from um, from well, no, it's a small side tech of an of of an um, country nearby uh, that's mostly. Uh, led by Drow, uh, and this is basically a, a bit of an, an, an uh, espionage branch. Okay. From a from a neighboring country. Yes. <sighs> okay. Did, did they take anything? Where you start? You see this? Uh, this this one. Uh, merchant starts lo looking for the pockets of on 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 the dead person, the dead merchant. Murder Whoever is... left had a map. Oh, what looked like a map. No, 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 not the map. My wife's gonna kill me. What are you looking? For? What are you looking for? Murder and I did did a bit of a business acquisition. Um. Uh, we found this this merchant that was selling this this map to to a hidden what he said was a hidden vault a treasure cove of things and we're gonna Ooh, treasure map we're gonna hire that uh, we're gonna hire that explorers league to to help us find this place and and ransack it for money we put our well, life saves in that. My wife's gonna kill me. Oh shit! Oh, on the plus side, now you. On the plus side, now you won't. Now you won't die on the excavation. On the excavation. Where did you find the expedition? I told you this map. Uh, I think Tristan puts a hand on Rowan's shoulder and just uh, shakes his head. <laughs> uh, sort of a, a not the time. Right, sorry, sorry. Okay. Um Can you guys help me? Help me help me get the map back. I I, I will pay you. you. Um maybe you're gonna have to wait until uh you're gonna have to wait for like an hour but so we can get the sword out first. So that um... what? I point to uh I point to Redman. <laughs> Whatever he wants. Mm. 
Please help. Is that me? Yeah. That's you. <laughs> because you still haven't told us your name in character. That is Michael, my good man. Uh, not. Not a, not a man, not a but. Man. Not, a, not a man, but. Nice to meet you, Michael. Please, please. You guys gotta help me. Yeah, we are. Soon, though. Yes, well, right now we do have to. Right now we have to. Right now we have to uh, help Michael with whatever he's doing because he's in charge of this place. Well, let's. Uh... <clears throat> Let's get somewhere where we can see if there are more fires in the area. See if there are more sounds of attacks nearby. And if possible, make our way back to the barracks. That's where the wounded will be. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. We have, even if we wanted to help, we don't know where the cultist went. Right, so maybe you can find us in the barracks in like an hour or two hours. I don't know how long this lasts here. Never, never been kind of arrested before. The person asking for help are they male or female? Uh, they are male. Old or young? Uh, I would reckon about twenty-three in age. Relatively young. Uh, I'm looking quite desperate at this point. Like he put his whole life life savings in it. He'll just um. He'll put his arm around her and say, You, my good lass, you look after, you'll be looked after by him over there. It points to another guardsman. Go on, off you go. <laughs> you say to the ma you say to the married man. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, uh, he'll... <laughs> Michael is terrible with gender. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Michael just like, Michael's just like, That's a boy, right? And just points at a tree. <laughs> <laughs> he'll um, he'll flick his eyebrows with his thumb and his middle finger, and I'll say, "Come along, you lot. We've got a city to save." Oh, what? <laughs> I didn't think it was that bad here. I'm just gonna quickly stop Michael and say, "Where's the guard going to bring him?" I told you he'll go to the barracks with the rest of the uh, evacuated. Make sure he stays there until we're ready to talk to him. Say again? Make sure he, he stays there until we're ready to talk to him. Oh, <laughs> that's a shitty to save. I don't I don't done fire, but it's not that bad here. Hmm. I'll turn straight to the guard and just say, make sure he stays there until we talk to him. <laughs> until they talk to him. Michael must have make a hard sure time teaching his dog to sit. <laughs> what? What? Stay Michael here. Must have a hard, sure Michael he... must have a hard time teaching his dog to sit. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Shit! Yeah. yeah. No shit, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to derail everything. I had told I told you to shit. <laughs> Dog sat there like I don't need one. <laughs> Shit down. <laughs> I, I, that, that's, not, that, that's the normal direction I should be in. Poor dog. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. I'm sorry. Um, I'll stop there. So you guys can. You guys make a quick uh, scout the, the the area. Uh, that Is... does. Oh, I was go oh, so sorry. Um, I was going to uh, say that um, if the merchant is still there, then um, Storm would ask him um, what the map was. It it was it was a map to to his this vault where a lot of money was. Um, uh, I'm the... guessing you don't know where that vault is. Well, I made a quick note on it, but. <laughs> I know what direction it was. Um, he just can you imagine? It's like I know vaguely where it is. Just points in a direction. It's somewhere over there. It, it's yeah. not here. Let's go. On, let's go on an adventure. Uh, <laughs> uh, above Star Starfall Grove, there's this 
um, a small cooperative forest. Um, mm. It was in there, an old, old town was once there, and they, they say that the mansion of the Amaterasu family was there. Mm. Uh, no, do I have a mind you... putting up a map just so that we know? Who else did knew you had this map? Uh, the merchant, Madil. Uh, I don't know. Anyone who's not dead in this room? You guys are not in a room. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who wasn't dead in that room? Right. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> why uh, don't talk, Storm? <laughs> uh, oh, you just need more practice. Uh, well, <laughs> it was the it was the guy that sold us the, the thing, but he was killed a week ago. Uh, Excuse me. I who did the who with the what? Well, we we bought it from somebody who was looking to off 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 do it, and he was. Killed about a week ago. Why would you buy it? You bought the map? Yeah. Well, huh. Who's to say that you wouldn't have already been there, took everything, and then sold you the map? Yeah. Seems a bit odd. You, you, see, you see this guy uh, doing the, the, the fish. The fish face, like, hat, like he's he's trying to, to eat air. <laughs> I feel like we don't need to kick him oh, while it's down. Uh... <laughs> there could still be tr there could still be a good deal of treasure there. I mean, if nothing else, you could probably it's an old mansion. You could probably like, tear, you could probably tear pieces of it off and and sell them to building companies. The fuck? You can do that? People want that? No. You guys are weird. Okay, but, but you guys don't understand. I put my whole life saving in that. We can make a Tell you what. Car. Tell you what. Have a cup have a cup of tea. Uh take take like an hour to calm down. We will talk to you later. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, uh try to remember things that we could that would help us find either the cultist or the map or this place. Yeah, that's a little dot where things were. Where he says that it is that was. Weep. Weep. He says we'll be up there, about there. <clears throat> but uh, you, you guys look around town. Uh, there's not much pies anymore. Uh, there was one or two more cultists that were found, but uh, in general, the, the thing that happened at the place where you were, the, at the uh, town square, uh, it looks like that was the, the main attack or the main distraction, maybe. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I suppose, why would the occult of Vecna be after a, a vault, a mansion? There, there are two different well, cults, no? Yeah, there's, there were two cults. Mm. It was there are? the Vecna guy, and the the guy with the who took the map was from a different cult. Mm -hmm. uh, out of character? I don't think you told us that. <laughs> yeah, I did, didn't know that. Oh, in, 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 that in character. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you saw that, and then came back, and we were all like, "We were like, oh, this guy is really sad." <laughs> yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, she, she's kind of like would sort of say that, um, I think, and, and yeah, oh, and yeah, these, um, now the guy, the guy who took the map was uh, from a cult of, um, oh, what's it, Hidden Moon, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, they, they... I they also roll me in uh, history check, by the way. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> yeah, Ives. <laughs> Eve, sorry. 
Get a, get a normal name. I'll say. Get... <laughs> wow. I refuse, motherfucker. Get a real name. Jeez, get a real name. What is with eighteen today? <laughs> e. Uh, you also recognize as he says the name. You recognize the name immediately. Uh, Aaron was definitely investigating this group. As a player, why? I wanted a break. <laughs> 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 this is your punishment for choosing a name that's hard for Rem to remember. Yeah, yeah, this is my punishment. God damn it. <laughs> it is, oh, yeah. it's, as it's... soon as I saw that thing, I was like, God damn it. <laughs> I know exactly what this is. I've never seen it before. Oh, DM Kitty. Yeah, DM Kitty, let's... Uh, it, it tries to jump down, it can't, it can't admit to uh, jump. And he wants to that go being over. said, I don't think Eve would know much about this cult. No, but enough. But he would know. Yeah, he would know that they exist. Yeah, and Aaron was investigating them. Yeah. Okay. okay. So Wait. two so cults were... attacked they at the same time, together, or were they taking advantage of each other? I am not sure, but the cult of the Hidden Moon is. Not good news. By the way, are we? By the way, we're having this conversation like on our way to the barracks with uh Michael, yeah? Yeah. 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 Like we're not just like we're not just like standing there in the middle of the street next to a burning house as he like taps his foot impatiently, just chatting away. Yeah. 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 House is burning down. We're just chatting. It's a nice bonfire, you know. I mean, uh, but now <laughs> the town is taken care of it, so. Put a, uh, put some uh put some marshmallows on the end of uh, the spears and pikes and just. Wait, okay. Um, Where did they find the marshmallows? Aaron would not be happy if I left this alone, so I guess I'm helping you. And I, I say that to the dude who's completely distraught. Who did you get this from? Mm. And where are they? Well, ah. I would hope they have been... I would hope that they've been cremated by now, but... No, no, no. Art is hopes. Huh? No. <laughs> I said, he said, uh, Rem accidentally said I was hopes, and so I said, no, no, art is hopes. No, she's not. She's she's missing the needs. Oh, is she? I thought. No. Okay, I got the. Okay, I got the mixed up. <laughs> wow. No, the well, merchant, not the cremated one. What? <laughs> where where did you find this merchant? Well, he was. They were in traveling. Merchant, uh, <clears throat> one of the dark elves. Where were you when you met this merchant? In Starfall Grove, he was a traveling merchant and he was going through town. And you he came back you. here? Yes. I'm assuming we're, no, we're not in Starfall Grove, right? Yes, you we are. are. Oh, we are, okay. Well, that's not too far off. Where they pointed it, I think. Yeah. Um. Well, they came through here and they sat there too off the map quickly that they were investigating it, but they did not have time. They want so quick money to quickly get to Moonlit. <clears throat> so, uh... Meryl and I paid 10 gold each. For them happen, I hoped we could find the Amaterasu mansion. The vault of Amaterasu. Uh, <laughs> and absolutely no, no warning bells. No. We right. we both saw it as a great opportunity to, to. <clears throat> to get some starting capital to help us or, or merchant empire to build up you you hear it all the time that that one of these merchants find a big trove of gold or something that they built there was this this merchant in moonlit that found <clears throat> an old 
old mansion filled with old artworks and he, he sold it and he, he got rich. What is empire? What is empire? Mm. I, I, I message uh, Matthew going, I feel like I'm talking to a dumbass. That's because he is. You know you do have to you do you know you do have to say the uh, sentence out loud that you're sent, casting that spell. Yeah, but I can right. whisper it. I can whisper it. <laughs> yeah, he whispers it in such a way that only I can hear it. Yeah, <laughs> just saying. I don't want other people to hear it. That's why I'm using message. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah. Anyways. laughs> uh, meanwhile, uh, Justin is saying to Michael. So, is there any sort of reward for helping in, a, in an emergency scenario? <laughs> yeah, I know this one wants food, and it has a point to storm. Uh, that was to. I, I was asking Michael that. Uh, we might be muted. Uh, Michael isn't there at the moment. Oh yeah, he, he went to look around. Yes. Oh, I thought we were following Michael. Yeah, I thought Michael was taking us back to the... I thought there was after we just... we, we down the, the cleanup. But we just don't... Uh, it doesn't matter. Can you ask the question again, sorry? Uh, yeah, so is there any sort of reward for fighting in an emergency zombie scenario? You know, your, reward, like... your reward, lad, look. Yeah, I think you might have cut out there. You said, uh, you said your reward? Your reward, young man, is serving the city you call home. Is that enough for you? Really you I look around at the town I don't live in. <laughs> <laughs> He's not just bad with genders. Neat and, uh, I, I point to uh, Matthew and I. We, we're not from here. <laughs> I'm de I'm definitely not from here. I don't have a home. Well, you the city that <laughs> gave you shelter, took you in as guests. I just got here. We're paying to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I look at that too, I'm like Poor Michael, saying, he's just... This is news to me <laughs> Poor Michael, he's probably, just, he's probably just like I don't have the budget to reward each of these adventurers And everyone's just like You owe us, bro Apparently we are <laughs> Sorry, sorry That's an It's an... <laughs> just the best that's not fair. <laughs> you can't do that, Crumb. Why are you sitting in the chat with everyone else? <laughs> you just raised it to me. That makes sense to everyone else. Anyway, um... <laughs> um... Sorry, you've thrown me completely off my train of thought. Uh... <clears throat> you're, the, you said, uh, the last thing you said was the city that gave you shelter. Uh, yes. You don't come from here, you just move pain, pain. <laughs> oh, God. Just, just say you need to ask the guard captain. <laughs> I am sure if you speak to Lord Thord, I'm uh, sorry, Captain Thordal, he will sort something out for you. I have got my own priorities, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to go speak to James's family, pass on the bad news. Um. What do I know of Thordal? Uh, Romy history check. What would Arn have told me about Thordal? <laughs> Roll history check. Or, yeah, Romy history check. <laughs> wow. Hey, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Everything. <laughs> we broke the curse of the 18. <laughs> you... How much did Arn bitch about Thordal in the last 15 years? <laughs> Did I ever just like drunkenly, like, like drunkenly, like, go look at me and go, look, this motherfucker? <laughs> uh, 
the best thing Thordell ever did was was a trick was a trick Marum into be, into finding us. I I think uh, Aaron would have told that that uh, Thordell is mostly filled with hot hot air. Uh, yeah. Okay. That that most things he says should not be taken with face value. Okay, so I'll I'll ask. Um... What's your name? This is the problem of being so used to season one. <laughs> <laughs> storm? Uh, no, not storm. What? James? No, oh, James. James. Dead. James is dead, isn't he? Oh, James is fucked. James is fucking dead, bro. Archive, what's, what's your character's name? Sorry. Uh, Michael. Michael. That's one. Mine, yes, it's Michael. In fact, I'll, I'll change it for them. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting you and Lustrous's character mixed up all the fucking time. And this is a problem. Anyways, <laughs> I'll, I'll ask Michael. Is this the same Thordal as the one associated with uh, magic bullshit shit squad. <laughs> What's her name? It's... Magic battle squad, actually. <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> yes. Uh, it was Aaron time this, so. <laughs> yeah, it's Aaron, so. Bullshit. Yeah, she would. She would actually want to say bullshit. <laughs> magic bullshit squad. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll, I'm gonna ask uh, Michael that. Is this uh, the same one? Say again? Is this the same uh, four dollars the one associated with the Magic Bullshit Squad? You know, the squire of Sir Simonius. Simonius, yes. You have spoken of Simonius before? I. Okay. I turn to the rest of the party. Yeah, I don't expect much out of this guy. <laughs> yeah, this guy is. Uh... Oh, oh, I trust. Oh, no. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't worry. Our, don't worry. Our records were very clear that he very clear that he is full of it. Do you not suspect the captain of the guard? Do you not suspect his many years of service? I would expect uh... you. Are you asking? You, are, are you, you asking if that. we suspect or respect him? He said, "Suspect." Yes. Okay. I, I, yes, I do suspect. But I'm asking him. if you meant to say respect. Yeah. Uh, but you guys get. Hmm? Go ahead, Michael. No, no, sir. As you guys step into uh, the, the 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 guard barracks, you see uh, Thordal. Uh, ordering his uh, guards around to to help the the wounded, and uh, you see him bowing over paperwork, signing heavily. Ah, Michael, you are you are a sight to sore eyes. I have some paperwork for you to fill out. Wow. My pleasure, as always, sir. <laughs> here, here. Please. Uh, and it is just ba basically paperwork about the, the, the incident that happened. Oh, doesn't seem like a bullshitter. Is this the guy ah. that's going to pay us? <laughs> <laughs> We're getting paid? By this guy? We can only help. Uh. Eve just, like, goes up to him and goes... <laughs> hold out her, just hold out his, the hand, and just like give him the money. You're Thordal. Yes, I am the mighty Thordal that helped beat Fekna. Our mm, inside her check. Her oh, there go. <laughs> inside check by everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't. I'm not inside checking. <laughs> Because yeah. I don't want to record say, but I will. I can There we go. Uh, big person. <laughs> don't know that's a disadvantage, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I see. The thing is, I know 
what the records say, and my records are definitely definitely say different from his. But I want to insight him to see how full of shit he is, not just if he is. He is definitely full of shit. He's like majorly overplaying his own uh, his own attributions. Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna say he is so full. He is so full of shit. His eyes are brown. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Eve is just like iron sends her regards. You want to try that again? <laughs> Ooh. Um. Um, can we go to the back room? Um, I have some drinks for you. <laughs> no, you, you can bring them here. Oh my god, he's gonna try to put. Oh, he's gonna poison them. He's gonna be like, he knows my secret. Uh, to Toto opens a um, um, uh, door to the back room where his uh, office, actual office is. Uh, you look inside and it, it looks quite messy. Uh, and he steps inside. Uh, for for uh, Tristan, Toto is speaking the truth. He did actually help the magic battle squads by beating Vecna. But what's what's such a storied hero doing in a place like this, in a different country storied. from the one he helped save? I'm storied, okay. <laughs> I know. I think story is definitely one of, is definitely the right word for him. Perhaps there's more here than meets the eye. Uh, does that, uh, does no, that's something wrong. Definitely less. Yeah, <laughs> you you can't leave Michael behind. Um, uh, look, uh, I might have overplayed my hand a little bit, but um, a little. Or maybe not. <laughs> or maybe not. <laughs> You're lying now. <laughs> just like I believe him. Okay, I may have a, I may, I may have lied. I don't believe you now. <laughs> uh, look, if I, if I, if I pay you guys, will you um keep this secret for the town? Uh, I don't want to lose my position. You'd see um, it comes with certain perks, and he takes a big swig of his uh, um, canister. <laughs> Wow. Eve pulls out like his dagger and goes Oh, is this the I only told is, is you is have this... a history with these. Is this the is this the only is this the only uh, position that will let you drink on the job? <laughs> 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 they ask genuinely curious, <laughs> taking out their book to write down the notes. Oh my god. No, but look, the the town think I'm 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 a hero and <clears throat> we we can't have the small ones believe that I'm not a hero, right? <laughs> Rowan wrote, Rowan, wrote, Rowan is like writing down in the book and says, like in a very quiet and cheerful voice, "The liar drinks to numb the guilt." <laughs> so uh, I think. I think I'm Tristan. So fucking happy over twenty-one. <laughs> Tristan is looking at the money and says, uh, "Well, we should think of the children." Look. I mean, I'll, I'll accept a dinner if you. Um, I, I mean, I can. I. Well, if if you want, you can stay for the night for free. Um, I will pay everything. Uh, that's sufficient reward. That's that's what you're willing to pay to keep Just your come secret. With food. I prefer gold. That's all. Food rather than the bed. I'm but... good with food and board. Yeah. Gold, gold can and be board. exchanged for food and board. <laughs> yeah, money, could be, money could be exchanged for goods and services. Um, you, you see him rummage in his pocket and he goes to the door. Uh, uh, well, how, 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 how about um, uh, three gold each? How does that sound? And room and board? <laughs> Rob is waiting check uh, art. <laughs> or at this point I think an intimidation check will work as well. <laughs> Whichever. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just and room and board. Twelve. Well it's it's either gold or, or room and board. Uh, look, I am I'm really sorry. It's tell 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 Aaron that I'm miss her. 
I hope she misses me too a lot. Just just he's just like, I hope she misses me too. I don't want to get shot. <laughs> As I said, I hope she misses me a lot with her arrows. <laughs> My ex party members miss me, but their aim is getting better. Oh no. <laughs> What do you think, Storm? This, I mean, we 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 can buy something with the money, I guess. Oh, if you're hungry, I do have some trail mix right here. Oh. Um, Tristan standing behind uh, Rowan just motions no. I mean, there is a festival going Storm, on. Storm goes that. to like grab the bag of trail mix. Tristan does his utmost to. To save everyone from uh, what is about to befall them. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, they pull a bag of trail mix out and they hand it to you. I made it myself. <laughs> <laughs> did you did, did you eat some? Well, what's in it? Shall I like, sniff it? Oh, it's a very oh, it's a very healthy mix. I've actually I actually made it to cover all the nutrition you may need throughout the day. Oh, it does it smell taste good? Does it smell appetizing? Or just... I don't know what would smell appetizing to you. Yeah. Is it like nuts and seeds and things? Uh, do you take a bite or not? She should kind of s smell it, and if it's if it smells appetizing, she'd eat it. Uh, it smell. Uh, it smells uh, salty and sweet and a little spicy. Yeah. Very interested in what happens here. Me too. Does anything happen when she eats it? I mean, it's not poison or anything, but it's got, uh, but it's filled with, uh, let's see here, peanuts, almonds, uh, pepperoni slices, chocolate chips, dry, uh, dried mangoes, um, chi chickpeas. It oh, sounds good. It tastes. It tastes weird. It tastes funny. You can't. It it tastes confused. <laughs> if confusion has you taste. like all the flavors, just not together. <laughs> yeah, that's allergic it's a whole to bunch any of, of this. It's a whole, it's a whole bunch of it's a whole bunch of things that individually would taste great, uh, all mixed together in one bite. Probably not. Also, yeah. our cat's allergic to this. I see some cat taste to Baxi is. It's Baxi had chocolates. He's I can't take... Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't accidentally kill our bar, did I? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> oh my god, this is... Oh my god, this is me revealing myself to be an evil character. Like, Tristan couldn't beat her in a fight, but I poisoned her. <laughs> uh, she she kind of like... She takes a bite and is like... Mm, it's uh, an acquired taste, I guess. And she hands it back. <laughs> okay. So, I'm so, going to hands her another... And she, then, and she, then she's like... Scraping your tongue off. <laughs> uh, I can tell you, two months isn't long enough to acquire it. So, good luck to you. Eve and her another Eye of Vecna. Where's Eve getting all these fucking meatballs? <laughs> Eve might or might not have Everybody taken will. quite a few of them. Oh, jeez. Like, oh, Eve, Eve was like, oh no, zombie attack! He snatched, snatched, snatched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eve, Eve yeah. picked up all the ones that Art threw on the floor. <laughs> You don't need to know that. <laughs> Eve was trained by Aaron. Yes. Yeah. Eve may or may not have taken up some of his hats. Yeah. Anyways. Maybe. Uh, <clears throat> um, see... Eve turns back to Thoradol and goes, okay, no bullshit. How about three gold and you assign some people to help us with this problem? What what problem? Eve gestures wildly to outside, with all the fire and distraught well, people, and it was one house. The person but... crying about their map. Well, um, like I can send Michael with you. Um, I I really would love if you guys uh, 
could deal with the, the, the guy that's keep complaining about the map. <sighs> That'll be an extra goal, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you help him, I will, I will pay each of you uh, five gold. I like, how art is just I like how Art is just extorting this guy. <laughs> Aaron? <laughs> no, Art. No, Art was just like, it'll be another gold each. <laughs> Art, just, Art just like, no, I'm shy and I can't talk to people. Oh, by the way, that'll be all the money you've ever had in your life. <laughs> Look, um, I, I will, um, I will... She's shy with people she, she likes. That's what... <laughs> okay. I will arrange five gold for you if you help the poor sub. And then he probably will pay you as well. So, I, I sold. I think this is a on win top win. of the three gold. Yeah, to to yeah yeah keep the, us, the, right? the three gold was to 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 help us uh, deal with the the, the zombies and uh, with the uh, um to keep my secret secret. Look, <clears throat> you 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 wouldn't want the magic belt the battle squad after you, right? Because you've heard their old esteemed friend i mean i'd be pretty happy to see them <laughs> you, know, like... you, you see Toilo making big gulp <laughs> it would be interesting to meet such legends yeah have you seen devon anywhere i'm actually looking for him uh devon was here a couple of winters ago he... actually i don't believe you <laughs> Before he gives an answer, I interrupt. I interrupt my law. I wanted to know where Devin is. <laughs> is he well? Is he safe? Yes. If you ever, you know, is he eating well. If if they ever visit you. <laughs> yes, he learned yeah. how to make a he learned how to make a clone out of chocolate. So he's just been eating those. <laughs> um. So we're on three gold to keep you. And five gold to help the map. Yes. Yep. That sounds, that sounds... I, I'm good with that. <clears throat> sure. Thank God. Ah. Uh, thank. Thank the lost one. Well. Um. Look. Mm -hmm. Did the lost one pinch him when he didn't say it right? What just happened there? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Look, Aaron Eve is... might have been the one to pinch him. <laughs> He's probably just glared straight at him. Look. <clears throat> well, please help the map guy. Uh, Michael, I will send Michael with you, and uh, my guard will... My guards will deal with the city itself to help the wounded and the... get things back to things. <sighs> I thought the... The God of Vecna was dealt with, but apparently they still. Yeah. Keep coming back from the dead? <laughs> it better not. No, no, no. It's more like. Oh, you know, what, you know what they say. You can't keep a good. You can't keep a good cult down. Ah, uh, well, I've heard stories of the 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 God of Vecna being hired out to people, but that's not here or there. I'm probably quite straight of money by now. But yeah, please help the map guy. I I can't stand his whining. I, <laughs> I can't Wow. I can't this eat. is Lord all saying that guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think I ever like in character like I don't think I ever met Thordol while playing the game just in my backstory and even I think this is even I think this is accurate to him. I hope Ming Ting thinks he's accurate. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just. This is just. This is just exactly how I imagined him. To be honest, I think all this is for you, if you're still here. <laughs> um, well, I, I, I really don't want to meet his wife if, if he keeps, if what he says is true. But not only is that, but also I am. I would actually <laughs> need to do extra some work. And he takes another <laughs> swig. <clears throat> Anyways, please help me. Fine. I'm up for it if you are, Owen. Of course. Of course. 
that vault might actually uh, there might actually be something I'm looking for in that vault. Harwin would probably be not be happy if I didn't help, given mm -hmm. the subject. Aaron would be. Hmm. Aaron would dash after them like they left five seconds ago. The fuck? You sure you know Aaron? <laughs> yeah. I you just, didn't you just establish that you don't believe anything he says? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have like the most like you are so full of shit look anyone has ever seen. <laughs> You see, uh, toilet go up again, just as it takes a little sick. Um, anyways, off it, you guys. Um, I have some important papers to sign. <laughs> you see him grab some papers, uh, which clearly oh, are oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> important work. My important, important work. Uh, uh. Can, can I roll perception to see what's on the papers? <laughs> sure. I'm I'm not rolling perception. I'm looking at it. What's on the papers? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, Rowan. Uh, on the papers are uh, actually uh that Tordo is behind on payments of his house. <laughs> <laughs> and and Ro again again in ver again that ver in that in that, in that extremely cheerful, like quiet voice writing down notes says. The dr the drunk the drunken liar can't spend spends his <laughs> spend spe spends his rent payment on booze. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what a surprise! Mm. <laughs> just like cheerfully dragging him. Eve decides that's like pretty fitting, and just. <laughs> Pats him on the shoulder and goes, "Yeah, good luck with that uh, rent payment." He grabs another tap. He he just takes another sw swig and drops his head with a loud bonk on the table. Where's Michael? In all this, uh, Michael's outside signing paperwork for Tordal. He's outside doing Tordal's job. <laughs> exactly. Can I just? Did he pay us yet? Did, yeah. Did he pay us? Yeah. Okay. Can I just take okay. the three gold pieces he gave us to keep his secret, and I'm gonna put it back on his desk. Did he give us eight? He did. Yeah. He's, he's gonna give us five. He gave us he five for it. helping the guy right. and, and three but for he keeping his secret to us yet, I think. And I'm giving three. I'm giving the three back. Yeah, so, sorry, did he give us the five now, or is that later, after we come back? The five, will, that's be, a... the five will be later think... when you guys... Yeah, also. He gave us three now, okay. Yep. To be fair, three gold is actually enough to cover a fairly nice room at an inn, and also a nice meal. Yep. I mean, it's 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 quite high in for first adventure. <clears throat> that's actually a lot of money for, like, the no for actually a common person. Yeah, that's more money than that's probably more money than uh, Michael makes in a week. Yeah, I thought all is gonna be in for a fucking hell of a campaign. <laughs> I, know, I know where he is. The moment we get sending, we just co we just contact him every day, like, "Hey, how you doing? Your rent payment, bitch." <laughs> <laughs> and to put that ball down. I see you. Uh, at one point, you guys come back and you see Tordal uh, hanging from a, uh, from an uh, <clears throat> from a rope. I cast Ra I cast Ray's dead. <laughs> You're not getting out of debt that easy. <laughs> oh wait, that is. Uh, I think this was a good first session. Yay! Uh, Yay! And we all level up because we extorted the police. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I. You guys would have enough levels to to level up. Uh, sadly, because of the extortion to Tordo, you guys lose experience. <laughs> but but I didn't take the gold, so I'm the only one leveling up. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's, yeah, you guys all level up. Uh, Rem, it is always more. It is always morally correct to bully the police. <laughs> as, especially as they're full of bullshit. Yeah. Yep. 
Mm. I'm so happy I rolled a 21. You have a 10. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> this is going to be a fun. This is going to be the best campaign ever. Uh, I miss. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys back uh, with this group in two weeks. Next week, Friday, we will see Fate Threats. And next week, Sunday, we will have the Golden Age. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Take care.